Beggars can't be choosers, but beggars never quit. Height here, and you already know what this is. It's time for choosing beggars, but with a twist. A blast from the past with Walk Back Wednesday. Let's do it. Our first post today is by HZ Double Cut, titled Selling Two Apple Watches Listed for $175 and $200. This person messaged me multiple times before this, offering $100, which I politely declined up until this point. Could you take $100 for it? I could take $150 for it. I don't have $50. All I will have is it's $100, that's it. Sorry, let me know when you get another $50. What it is, 50, like 7, 20? I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Dude, I don't know why you won't take 100 for it. I don't know why you keep messaging me offering significantly less than I'm selling it for. Also, I don't know why you're trying to spend your last 100 on it. In all honesty, why would you want to spend your last $100 to get a watch? You would think that $100 would be better spent on, oh, I don't know, maybe food, other necessities. A watch is not a necessity, but then again, we all know the beggar's priorities are not straight. This next one is by Poonanistan, titled, Choosing Beggar is upset that a private school playground is not open to the public during school hours. I came here and found out it was a school playground. You can't come into it until school is out, and sometimes if there is a club or event after school, you can't go in until it's over. Well, it is a school playground. Technically, the school doesn't even have to open the playground to anybody outside of school hours or event hours or whatever. You should be grateful that they even open it, because a lot of schools in my area have gates that they shut. This next one is by Little Coffee Fairy, titled, Wow. Just, wow. One star. Why did I give it one star? I've been requesting for a complete art copy ebook, but you did not respond at all. I'm sick of authors don't appreciate us except for the review of their book. I don't want to waste my time with authors give us art incomplete copies without original covers. Seems like they don't appreciate us when we spend our free time to read their books. Many of ARC readers would appreciate if you giving us full ebook complete package. That's fair. So please consider this next time when you release another ARC copies to us. If you want four to five star reviews, then send me your ARC full copy. I will gladly change my review. I received a free copy of this book via Booksprout and am voluntarily leaving a review. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so confused at what they're even complaining about. Are they complaining that they don't get a, a cover for the book that's an original cover or like I'm guessing having art on it like some book covers? Not all book covers have art, but I, I, I don't know. This beggar's losing it either way, especially considering they're complaining when they got something for free. This next one is by Why So Incandescent, titled, Gives a Genuine App Review. Give us five star to inspire us to do better. Daily reminder stopped after one day. Exercise got stuck in the middle, had to start over and skip exercises I already did. Email from developer requesting five stars to inspire them to fix is not the route I expect. You'll get five stars when you fix the app. Stop being lazy. Thanks so much for your comment. We'd be grateful if you could give five star to support us, which will inspire us to get better. Leap Fitness Group. I mean, they have a point. If you fix your app and make it work properly, you'll probably get five star reviews naturally. I get the app game is harsh, but you know what? If you want to be known, have some integrity behind your name, because that way when you are known, you can at least say you got there honestly. This next one is by Sharkbait179588, titled, My husband is selling his bike. Is it available? Yes. Would you, would you go 20 bucks for it? 20 bucks, can I'm interest into it? $20. You do realize I'm asking $500, correct? Give me a real offer or don't reply. How much can you do if negotiable price because I'm really interested into... What's the best price you could do for the bike from the Ghost Pepper Fries? I'm really interested in the bike. My name is Beggar, also buy and sell bikes. $400. The bike is worth over 800 
40 40 dollars would you take 40 dollars for it hello anybody home hello anybody home they're home, just not home for you, if you get my drift. They're not gonna sell you the bike for 40 bucks, and if you pretty much are saying that you buy and resell bikes, they know what you're trying to do with the bike that they're selling, so it's not gonna happen. This next one is by LNH Team, titled Repost, because I had to censor the names. Hey, at Lil Nas X, mozzarella sticks are on the house the next time you're in the neighborhood. Should be free for all paying customers, not just country rappers. Aww, mozzarella sticks should be free if you're a paying customer. Hey, guess what? They got that on the menu. They also got half price appetizers where you can get those mozzarella sticks half price. But instead of doing that, you just want to cry because you want something for free. This next one is by Moose Down Jacket, titled People Who Don't Tip Are The Worst. So we have a couple that eats in the restaurant twice a week. They both get a meal and they order milkshakes. They've never once tipped any of our servers. One of the girls asked them if there was something we could improve on service-wise. Nope, the service is fine. And then this. Went here today. The service and the food was great. We got our check, then the server asked us, why don't we tip often? That was a very awkward question. Not going here again. If I was in a restaurant, even if I was known to be a horrible tipper or a no tipper, it would be very awkward to have a server come up and ask why I don't tip. I highly doubt the server asked them that directly, so they're probably spitting something to probably get that response from the owner that says, oh, I'm so terribly sorry here, have a free meal on us, because we know that's what the beggars like to do. This next one is by Throwaway1241, titled, Coursemate Wants Me to Return a Book I'm Using. Hey, just a quick question. Do you have the book, this book, out from the library? Blank recommended it to me for an essay, but when we looked it up in the system, it was on loan. She said since you're doing your dissertation on the blank, you might have it. Hey, yeah, I do. Didn't think anybody else would need it. <laughs> I'm currently using it, but can return it in a few days if that's alright. How long are you planning on loaning it out for? It'll only be a few days. Like I said, Blank suggested it to me. I wouldn't know about it otherwise. Would you be able to return it tomorrow? My essay is due on Friday, so I need it soon. I'm really sorry, but I have a deadline on Friday too that I need it for. We have to have a draft of a chapter of our dis, and it's a major work in mine, so it's kind of important. I'll be back in the library most of tomorrow, though, if you want to join. That way we can both use it. I don't work well in the library, sorry. It's too loud in general areas, but too quiet in the silent areas. <laughs> I wouldn't mind if you came to my house. That could work. I think most of my housemates are busy. Don't take this the wrong way, dude, but I'm really not comfortable going to your house. We barely know each other. If the library doesn't work for you, there's always the coffee shop in the blank building. Or if that's too loud, then there's the cafe in blank, which is usually pretty quiet. But if you don't want to go there, I can take pictures of the pages you need and send them over. Just let me know the page numbers and chapters. You think I'm going to rape you? Uh, no, I'm just saying I don't really feel comfortable enough to go over to your house. Sorry. Okay, well, I can't do the library or the cafes, and if you're too stubborn to come to my house, then please return the book tomorrow. Dude, I'm not returning it. I need it for my dis. Sorry. I've given you options. Just let me know what pages and chapters, and I can send them to you. Looks like Blank was wrong that you'll help me. I thought you third years were supposed to be welcoming to second years. If it's so important to your dissertation, you would buy it, not just rent it from the library. If you don't return it tomorrow, I'll just request it. Simple as. And I'll just request it back as soon as you take it out? Anyway, requesting it wouldn't help you because I'd have a week to return it before getting fined, meaning that I'd still have it when your essay is due. And I'm a student, dude. The book is 52 pounds on Amazon. I'm not gonna pay that much if I can just get it at the library. I'm not arguing anymore though. 
I'll be in the library on blank campus at 9 tomorrow morning, and I'll leave around 5, although I won't be there between 12 and 1.30 because I have a lecture, and then I'll probably take a break and get food. If you want the book, then I'll be somewhere on the second floor, or if you send me the numbers and chapters, I'll take photos. I don't know what I expected from a female studying ancient history. You're all selfish as fuck and all you want to do is one-up the men here. Ah oh, yeah, I'm sure Blank will love that sentiment. Night, dude. Come on, beggar, if you really needed to use it that bad, you would use it around the time they're offering. They're being more than willing to be flexible to a certain degree. They're not going to return it just so you can use it all by yourself, though. And our final post today is by K Black Hand titled Holy Trinity, a racist choosing beggar Karen. True story. I had a lady call our clinic today saying she needed to be treated for the coronavirus because she traveled through LAX and happened to be near some Chinese people. She proceeded to berate my MA when my MA informed her that we had no test for the virus, but that if she's having SS, she would be best to go to the local ED. Plot twist, she has no insurance and wanted us to see her at no cost. Ultimately, the conversation ended poorly with the lady calling back and leaving a voicemail that she will be coming in the morning to demand to talk to the manager. I'm super pumped for her to be greeted by my Asian face. Karens just don't think and Karens are really bad at doing research and the funny thing is Karens are also very bad at paying. I'm pretty sure when she comes in she'll be very, very surprised to see you. And maybe she'll change her tune. Alright, that's enough beggars for the day. Well, that wraps up this episode of Choosing Beggars. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell and drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, and have a great day.